Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to the table. You may remember from one of my past videos, I recently sent out a knife through Knife Club on Reddit's Spooky Swap. So I actually decided to send the ProTech Malibu out. And so I sent that out, it was received by my uh, swapper. They were very happy with it from what I can tell. And eventually I did get a package back of my very own. And so I don't believe that this was the very the person who sent me, who I sent my knife to. So I think the matches are f somewhat random. And um, even as such, it took quite a while to get to me because the original swapper I was matched with ended up flaking. So they had to hook me up with a re-swapper. So I'm very happy to have a knife in this package today that I'm gonna open. I have no idea what it is. And so um, we're gonna open it on camera, see what it is. I covered up the addresses, but um, it is in a bubble envelope. I'm kind of excited to see what we have. I'm curious to see if it's a knife I already own or a knife I never would have purchased on my own. I'm very excited to see what's going to be in the package today. And so again, this was a Halloween themed knife swap. For those of you who didn't see the last video, I sent out a knife to a random swapper and I received one in return. And so the whole idea is it's a surprise. It's like a, it's like a secret Santa type of deal, but it was you know Halloween themed. So we're gonna open up the package with my Berg Blades Bottle Butcher right here. So let's just make a small cut. I don't wanna mess up anything in there. All right. Looks like we have, we have a note. So I'm gonna read this quick off camera and see if there's anything personal in there. And if not, then I will read it on camera. All right, so let's read it together. So howdy, saw you got shafted on the spooky swap. That's a huge bummer. I saw you had a few Kershaw, so I figured this uh, little ZT would be right up your alley, interesting. This is one of the first knives I snagged from the swap. I hand polished the show side to 2000 grit, so it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but it's got a unique look I really enjoy. Hope you enjoy this bad boy as much as I did. I have a spare brass backspacer, but I just didn't like the look. If you post on Knife Club I'll mention and mention it, I'll message you and make sure it gets to you. May your blade stay sharp in your pocket always have a gem in it. So this is an awesome message. Thank you very much for my sw from my swapper. Um, I won't name him in the video publicly, but let's see what we have in here. Okay, so there's the envelope. Oh, this is sweet. Maxpedition pouch. I've actually looked at buying one of these pouches, which is really cool. And we have a really nice brass bead on there. It looks brass with a skull and a banana dude on there. That's actually really weighty. That's actually really nice. So I don't know if they, that comes with the Maxpedition pouch or if he added that. I am not sure, to be honest. So I'm kind of excited to see. I, I kind of spoiled it. it. It is a ZT, I guess, from the letter. So let's open it up and find out. Oh my goodness, what do we got? Oh my gosh, this is the ZT. Oh, I don't know which model this is, to be honest with you, because I am not super familiar with this. I know it's that Sinkovich design. I want to say, is it the 0462? Actually, let's look on the plate. All right, oh no, 0450, Sinkovich S35VN. Oh my goodness, I am blessed. This is awesome. I, I, I don't know what to say. This is really, really nice. Oh my God. Um, well, because while I do love Kershaw, as I mentioned in my notes, I love US made Kershaw's. I only actually own one ZT currently, and that's a 0350. And so, <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this thing. So let's take a look at that zero tolerance logo. Um, I think this is probably a, is this steel or titanium? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna have to get a magnet and find out. Let me see real quick. Okay, so that's a titanium frame that we have here, titanium frame lock. And I love that, the, the just the, the polish job on it. You see the grind lines? Very nice, and yeah, any polished job is gonna be a fingerprint magnet, so I get that for sure. <laughs> you included the cloth, very thoughtful, thank you, sir. Oh my God, look at that thing. I am beyond excited. <laughs> Take a look at the lockup, excellent. You can check out the centering, excellent. Backspacer, we got the two red pillar construction right there, very nice. Pocket clip is the standard, it's a, it's a standard ZT clip for this knife. This is like that hinderer style pocket clip, I want to call it. So not deep carry. I'm not sure if this one was original with the knife. I'm going to have to look up pictures, of course, and do some research. Because I did not expect this knife at all. 
to be sent my way. So super happy. Oh my gosh, that action is incredible. <laughs> you have no idea. If you guys could see the smile on my face right now. Oh geez, super happy. And so he gave a polishing cloth. This is a Civivi cloth. Totally cool with that. Love it. Um, we do have a bead right here. Oh my gosh, a zero tolerance bead. <laughs> this is like Christmas, I swear. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever been so happy in a video. But yeah, zero tolerance knives bead on the end. And with the blue and gray um, paracord, that is really nice. And with the Maxpedition pouch, I am, I am tickled pink here. I'm All right, so happy. while I have the knife out on, on the table, let's make some other comparisons because I'm really interested in just the size difference between this and some of the other knives I own. Like I mentioned, I own the ZT0350 which I also have out right here. So let's do a size comparison with this one. This one hasn't really made any appearances on the channel, um, but let's just do side to side comparison right there. And the O350 is definitely meant to be a really beefy hard use folder, but the overall length, as you can see, is very similar. Big weight difference, however. Um, so in hand, the O450 definitely weighs less. It's meant to be more of a gentleman's carry, but I really do like the comparison here. So now I have a second addition to my zero tolerance family. Very happy about that. So let's just check these out side by side again on the show side here. And so I love that polished scale he put on there. Very nice. But check those out side by side. But let's see the real comparison. Let's do a weight comparison here. So let's see that. All right, let's check it out. So the O450, um, it's very lightweight. It doesn't feel like a heavy knife, even though it's a uh, titanium scales here. We are coming in at 3.01 ounces. Very nice. And taking a look at the O350, definitely heavier. That one is heavier for sure. <laughs> you know, over six ounces. So it's 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 a heavy duty knife. You know, very heavy built folder. So also let's check out the, while we have these knives out, let's take a look at the knife or a version of the knife that I originally shared. So here we have the Protec Malibu. And so my original recipient I, sh I swapped with, I sent him the reverse um, Tanto version that had this, this very similar acid wash blade. This version right here, let's just do a size comparison. Um, very much the same alley as the O450. Take a look at the overall length there. So that's kind of nice. And of course, let's do a reverse shot. Um, as you might be able to see, this was a Blade Show exclusive edition. I didn't go to Blade Show, unfortunately, but Blade HQ actually sold several of these on their site. Um, so definitely, let's check out the weight before we're done. Protect Malibu is coming in. Oh, that turned off. Protect Malibu is coming in at 3.1 ounces, so very comparable to the 450 here. So these two knives, similar blade length, similar weight. Check out the thickness right there. The 0450 is definitely a thinner profile, but very nice, very great EDC knives. Um, right now the Malibu is kind of the, the flavor of the week. These ones are hard to get. Um, so very happy to share my second one essentially with somebody else. But I am very fortunate to be matched with a really great swapper this year. So definitely looking forward to next October. Awesome. Very cool. So thank you very much to the organizers of Knife Club's Spooky Swap. Um, so this is Spooky Swap 2021. And I am a very happy camper with my Zero Tolerance 0450. This is an amazing knife and an incredible um, find. So I am very happy with what I have right here. Um, so if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. But honestly, I'm just tickled pink right now. Like I said, I'm very happy. So um, I'm just going to enjoy this knife. And I hope you all have an excellent day. But thanks for watching and see you later. Bye-bye.